I shouldn't have ended the episode. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're just not making very much progress. If I spend 10 minutes fighting one fight. Like, it's not even that you win-lose, it's that it goes so long, it's just kind of uninteresting anymore. When it's uninteresting for the player, it just kind of definitely makes it uninteresting to anyone else around for it. I didn't catch that that was a honey tree. Whatever. Machop. Inferno. Honestly, I don't care. Alright, what have you got for me? I've got plenty of justified confidence. I'm just annoyed that this game doesn't give nearly enough experience to do what I'm doing. And Scyther. Wing attack. Sure. Oh, critical hit. Fun. Do I have anything that's worth fighting on this? I don't know. Staravia, sure. Mm hmm. I'm very much tired of getting one shot. Is it going to happen again? Are you going to crit me for everything? No? Okay. But now I'm all again going to have to immediately go back to the Pokemon Center to heal my Pokemon because this fight was an exhausting bullshit. Like, I got two of my Pokémon. One was on equal footing level-wise with him, gets one shot. One I thought would be resistant to the flying type, gets also one shot. It's just kind of boring. When your Pokémon can't fight because the game decides you're not allowed to have them. Yep. Good for you, Luxio. Good for you. And the bite fainted, so we're up to a Scorupi. This is probably also just going to end my team pretty quickly here. Because I missed. Oh, Thunderbolt. I don't think I ever got that. Okay, four times. That's not bad. Gunk, go. Yeah, I should not have cut that last episode where I did. It's not gonna make it onto the channel. It was just one fight, the double battle before this. Okay. 
I guess we'll give Shellos a chance. Mm-hmm. All right, you got it. That's good, All right? Robo pass. Okay. Yep, that is super effective. That looked all sorts of super effective, didn't it? Yep. We'll go again. Maybe this time I won't be one shot by the Scyther for two Pokemon. And I'll have a reasonable team to fight with. I think I'm not going to worry about flying back anymore. I'm just going to beat my head against whatever obstacles come my way. Right. Oh, hey, Rosalium. Ow, my ankle. There we go. Through. Oh, jeez. There we go. We fixed it. Like, stop stopping me. It is not worth my time to battle any of you. There's just so much before you that m does matter. Or so much after you that does that you guys just don't... Don't matter. worth it more to not run in grass because running into a Pokemon means you're wasting more time than if you just had a walking speed. Because I could be much further than this. Oh well. should be not immune, but the other thing, resistant. Hmm. It was a waste of my time because I only got a hunt, like 300 experience total across two, across three Pokemon. Uh, Alright, let's try this again, and hopefully that Scyther won't one-shot me. Hopefully.
Save the game. There we go. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Give me that scyther, please. Trainer Ernest. Yep, sent out a scyther. Yep, wing attack immediately. Oh, that's how much damage it was just gonna do naturally. Because it's super effective. Okay. Let's take the Scyther out, please. Thank you. Burn effectiveness. Ernest sent out Luxio. This time we'll change to Gabite, because Gabite did a good job of weakening Luxio at the very least. If anything, I will try to finish Luxio off with our Monferno. Dragon Rage. out of my system. Da -da -da -da. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know why I'm going with Staravia. I should have gone with something that had a speed tier attack. Okay, Aerial Ace is fine though. No misses. I'm cool with that. Robopass. You know what? Sure. We'll do this and then mock punch. And see where we get with it. Magnet Bomb. I feel like Magnet Bomb should work on a flying Pokemon. Yep. Oh, Rock Slide, how dare you. Super effective. Or you fainted, so Monferno, let's Mach Punch. Magnet bomb, yep. What is after? Scruffy. Sure. You'll have any level of chance with your oh so many fighting moves that do damage. Yep. Scruffy Pin Missile. I need crits. Need all sorts of crits. Fainted. Rogunk, let's go. Shellos is probably gonna get this for me. More than likely. 
Mm. Oh, you're gonna thunder wave me down. Come on. Super effective. There we go. Run past, fainted. But Krogunk got it instead, so that's not bad either. But also, moving forward, Krogunk is going to be under-leveled to take on whatever we run across. Oh, hi, kid. A ninja can use all kinds of skills, like this and that. Alright, whatever you say, buddy. Davido. Nothing. Yeah, I keep needing... I still need to find moths. The catch. Or not moths, the burmy. Faint attack. Okay. And... Shellos. Oh wait, that's brown. It's not. No point to it anyways. We're good. We'll be fine. I made that mistake. That is my bad. Skip the animation for me, that'd be nice, please. Alright, good luck, take care, thank you. Now, let's see if I can make any actual progress. At all. Ponyta. Thank you. Again, not really worth my time. Not what I wanted to do. Defog, please. I don't know what it is, but... It just feels like this game is so badly made. Like, people complain about Gen Sword and Shield, but I mean, I've got Pokemon with moves that I that don't ever get used. I've got Pokemon that have moves that always get used. I have Pokemon that have evolved already. There's nothing new to this game so far. And everything gives so little experience. It just seems odd. Like, I got 232. It was like 400. Chellos leveled up. No, not evolution time yet. I think it has to be level 30 for Shellos of evolution. We're gonna have both versions of the Shellos. Hi. I need to fight you again, please. If you wouldn't mind that. Davido. Hello, Davido. Is your first name Daniel? Daniel DeVito. Oh, 
That's a good shot. It'd be nice to do that consistent across everything. I don't get it. Like, everything that hits me seems to know... So that's handled. What is next in this lineup? I don't have Rock Smash with me, so I'm not gonna bother with that. It's over here. Hi, fighter guy. What do you got for me? A uh, physique isn't just for show. Okay. Show me what you got. Black Belt Adam. Oh, hey. Sent out him a choke. lead with flame wheel. survived, but he's not going to survive the Staravia. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Meant to run an ad break. Every hour on the hour. I had some good experience. kid. Sure enough, you appear where we least expect. Underneath the weird dirt mound, Nathan sent out Stunky. Hi, Stunky. What have you got for me to hit? Dragon Rage, sure. Oh, the Dragon Rage. Air Cutter, okay. Yeah, that doesn't do too bad. And we will slash for our last thing. Eventually, I'll get rid of Dragon Rage for something that does some decent damage without it. But for the time being, I think we're okay moving forward. Not the best, but we are okay. That psychic guy around the corner is gonna toss me all the way back to the start, but whatever. What is about the charms? Oh, he's a bird Pokemon guy. Ah, I don't have anything really to fight that. I think I have mostly ground type attacks if yeah. between rock and ground. There's a hoot hoot. I can handle this. Maybe. Maybe. Hoot hoot used reflect. Reflect raise the team's defense. Dragon Rage should still just do 40 damage. Yep. No 
show us Noctowl will keep battling. Oh, Noctowl. We're gonna use the same strategy here of Dragon Rage until it's low and then hit it with something harder. Something else. Dragon Rage. I was going to say, please give me a crit, but I don't think I can? Oh, psych or Confusion. A Psychic-type move. Good bite Faints. Stravia. We'll hit you with an Aerial Ace. Ah, so close. Come on. There we go. Show us level 29 and learns move Body Slam. Sure. Body Slam can replace Rain Dance because Rain Dance is not particularly useful if you can... Like, it's better to get something that can just cause it than it is to have to use a turn for it. Rihanna. Oh, hey. Bird person. The Brianna I know is a cat person, but still. Oh boy. It is on. It is way too far from Friday, Zach, man. It ain't even Wednesday yet. Like, it's Monday. Like, it's way too far away, and I want it badly to be Friday. But I get it. Like, compared to where we were a month ago. Yeah, I've, I've been under a little bit of dismay currently. Because I've been on this route for the last hour trying to get through and everything is way too strong for me. Like I lose at least one Pokemon per fight. Ryan. I'm okay. For the most part. It... Well, no, it's not nuts. It's boring. You get you get way too little experience, especially for the type of thing I'm trying to do. Like, legitimately, I'm trying my best to keep up with the levels and make sure I have progression. I mean, one of them was 66. Like, not 66. One had two... Yeah, two of the groups... Or, two Pokemon... Like, the highest I've seen on this route is 36, and 36 was the cap at the last gym leader. And you really didn't have very many areas between then and now to level. And I'm trying to level stuff that doesn't really have great movesets when you first get them, like Skoropi. Acupressure can be fine if you can survive a couple of hits. But it's not great. Like, I need some of these Pokemon to have better moves, but I don't want to use all of my TMs earlier than getting to the Elite Four, because the Elite Four is where it's going. Oh, yeah. Like, this generation, I believe, had bad leveling. Well, no, this wasn't... This isn't hard. If you... If you're... Gener if you generalize being hard with the amount of experience you gain... It's not hard, it is just withholding. Like, I had an easier time with the first few generations. Gen 4 is that middle ground between where we are now and where we were. And people are saying, and if people say they want it like this generation, my god, please no. It has been so strenuous to get anything to happen sometimes. But, I digress. We're making progress. We're working on it. There's also the fact that no, none of the Pokemon games are any harder than any of the others, because if you just sit down and pick six Pokemon to start with, you can beat the games rather easily, in general. Oh no. Ow. 
I don't remember much of Black and White, and I'm probably going to skip Black and White and do Black and White 2 when we get to Gen 6? Yeah. No, that's Gen... Confusion. It's one of the generations between... F is Black and White after this? I think it is. Oh, it included Black and White too? Okay. Like, it's... I always forget the generations past four forward. Like, it's four... Then I think Black and White is five, X and Y is six, Sun and Moon is seven, and Sword and Shield is eight, if I'm not wrong in that. Okay. But I mean, again, uh... Like, the new ones aren't necessarily easy for your leveling. They're just... not this annoying, because this has been the only game I have had this kind of a complaint with. Like, it feels like I get very much no experience from major, or from most fights. And that's just kind of where I am with it. The EXP share function? Eh. Like, spreading experience, I don't see it being that bad. The fact is, like, with... We're done here. Yeah, which... In most games, I ran through without getting any grinding. Like, the only reason I'm having time... Or level-related issues is because I'm doing what I'm doing and putting in Pokémon that I haven't leveled any. Left you with the same amount of experience. No, they didn't. Like, the original EXP shares also split your experience, and your experiences also split in the new generations. Like, there is... No. I'm pretty sure it's all of them receive a smaller portion, because if you don't include more Pokémon, everyone still gets the same... Or... Hmm. I haven't seen the math, so I'm still going under my assumption. And at this point, it's irre irre irrelevant. Because, again, it's not necessarily easier just because, well, higher level will make it easier, but at the same time, if I was playing this normally, a lot of these Pokémon wouldn't be in my party, and I'd probably have a level 40 Monferno versus a level 32. And this route would be a lot easier to progress through. Like, I, I don't see it. I can... I will take your word that there is math to it. I just... There is nothing that makes the new generations easier, in my sense. But I get where we're coming from for all of it. Actually, I am just curious where the math is coming from, and what they compared. Hmm. 
Chelos level 30? Cool. Chelos is done. And I have both of them. Um, I don't know. Like, I've had easier... I've had harder times with the newer games just because when I played the originals, like the first three, I would pick one of my starters and it would be my Pokemon. It'd be my only Pokemon until the very end. So I would have a massively... Uh, like, by the end of uh, Gold and Silver, I ha would have a Feraligator that was close to level 100. You get to level 100 in that game, you're kind of outclassing most Pokémon by level 60. Well, there is also a difference between original Gold Silver and Soul Silver Heart Gold. Like, and again, it's not that hard if you just focus one Pokémon. And in a lot of situations, one Pokémon being overly leveled just wins you a fight. Alright, I'm gonna end this recording.